I heard that. I heard that. I heard that. And we are back with another chapter of the book of Boba Fett. Now, the previous chapter, I think that was chapter three, was not fantastic. It wasn't my favorite by any means. Now, it wasn't completely terrible, but it did feel a little off somehow. I'm really hoping that this particular episode is going to be fantastic. And taking a look at the runtime, it's a 49 minute episode. So I'm pretty confident that we're going to get some good stuff in here. So without further ado, let's get started. All right, let's go. Oh, so he immediately went for Jabba's palace. Oh, it's probably because he probably wants his ship back. Yeah. Not today, old girl. Still too many guards. Oh, I didn't. Oh, yeah, Tatooine does have three moons, doesn't it? Yeah. yeah. Uh, <laughs> aren't Banthas vegetarian? No way. I swear Banthas were vegetarian. Enjoy. Oh, it's the flare scene from the Mandalorian, right? That's gotta be it. Oh, uh, okay, that's where he finds Fennec. Oh. The Gathering Storm, okay. Oh. Gosh, I'm so sleepy. I take it I'm worth more alive, huh? You are. Oh. I'll pay double my bounty. Who are you? I am Boba Fett. Oh, snap. Left for dead on the sands of Tatooine. Dude, he delivers these lines with such... There's something so incredibly stoic about him, like the way he just talks, it's amazing. Speed bikers defeated Tuskers? That's highly unlikely. Oh. Help me recover my fire spray gunship. Oh yeah, they renamed it, didn't they? If I help you, my debt is paid. Oh, that's interesting. So she hasn't stuck around because of her debt. Ah, okay, that changes a lot of things. It's like a probe droid. Yes, I know. I know I'm gonna find other Banthas. Make baby Banthas. <laughs> Go! Can't believe Banthas are carnivorous. Wait until we get your ship back before you do. Whoa. Oh, it's this guy again. It's it's the other torture droid. Oh. Hey, wait a minute. That's just what is this Beta General Grievous, bro? No one's down with the alarm. Beta Grievous. Let's get to the hangar. Can we go now? <laughs> Let's go. There we go. Cheese. Ooh, nice shot. You go. Oh, she just killed the gun droid. Cool. That's so cool. Woo! Nice. That was sick. Where are you headed? I have a few scores to settle on. Oh? I'll go for the ride. So what? Uh, she just decides to hang around. <laughs> Oh my god, that is terrifying! Dude, it's like a... Oh, you're dead. What? 
Oh, that is overkill. <laughs> she just nods like, yep, that's, you, you, you gotta do what you gotta do. Oh wait, we're back at the uh, Sarlacc pit. What? Why? Wait, we're going in? No. Be careful. Whoa! Oh. Oh. Oh my god. 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 Ah. Amazing. Next time, don't touch my button. <laughs> Ooh, that's nasty. Scoria. Living with the Tuscans has made you soft. No. It's made me strong. You can only get so far without a tribe. Yo, this is such a sick. This is such a sick episode, man. Anything from the mayor's major domo. Oh, he's singing like a yazum. <laughs> like a yazum, nice. No sign of the mayor. Hey, Chrysanthemum's still here. Oh, please, please join Boba Fett. That'd be so sick. Oh, <laughs> of course he hates the Trandoshans, of course. <laughs> it was at this moment that he knew. He fucked up. I think you've made your point. In the name Chrysanthemum drew crowds by the thousands. Is it not beneath you to dismember this unfortunate Trandoshan? What was once celebrated in the bloodlust of the arena is now seen as horror and cruelty. You are a champion. So you release this customer and let these fine folks get back to their fun. I will wipe your debt off the books. <laughs> Seems like a fair trade. <laughs> Are you not entertained? Are you not entertained? You were all once captains under the hut, but you quickly left the family, but were thwarted by his guile and treachery. I may sit on that throne, but I have no design. I'm here to make a proposal that's mutually beneficial. We make many credits from the sale of spice in our territories. What prevents us all from killing you and taking what we want? You can try. You will try. Whoa. It. Bro, that is such a boss ass move right there. Holy cow, that is a boss ass move. Look at me, sure. Look at me, sure. I'm the captain now. I will vanquish these interlopers who threaten our planet. I abide. But can you really trust them? I mean, they say this, sure, but come on. How much treasure do we have in reserve? Credits can buy muscle, if you know where to look. I heard that. I heard that. I heard that. Yo, don't tell me Mando is coming in. No, oh, come on. Whoa. What even? Oh. M. G. Bro, oh, I heard that. I heard that. Yo, I had, I swear, I had the shivers when that when that sound came on. Like, Dude, hands down, best episode of this show so far.
it had everything. Cool factor, this satisfying Boba Fett action, a bit of plot to move things along, a bit of character exploration. Oh, it's fantastic. I'm still getting the shivers after I watch this. It's so, so good. So good. I mean, literally from the beginning, like where, you know, he... He he go uh, he finds Fennec Shan all the way to the end. It's been it's it's fantastic. Like I feel like in the last episode they sort of set us up. Like they gave us like a, an episode that wasn't that fantastic, but and then just bang the impact of this episode is just ten times now because of what we got on the previous previous week. So my goodness, this is amazing. The Sarlacc pit scared the crap out of me. I was. I thought the Sarlacc was dead. I thought it was like the 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 beast was was dead because after Boba Boba Fett kind of burned its heart, but then when it like jumped out, it was whew, I, amazing. It was so good. My my adrenaline is running so high right now. This is amazing. This is this is the Boba Fett action that we have all been waiting for since the first episode like when he sweeps down on his um on his ship to to shoot down the nectos it's like it's like an eagle sort of sweeping down on its prey like it's the 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 cinema the cinematography the the imagery it's just top notch man top notch also fennec shen raises a very good point in this episode like can we really expect you know some Nikto speed gang to defeat Tuscans who were born and bred and know every inch of the desert. I mean, come on! Like, it's pretty much 100% the Pikes that um, that that attack, attack the Tuscans, and it's going to make this war against the Pike Syndicate so much sweeter simply because it's also going to be like a revenge story. And I think that's oh, I cannot wait for next week. It's. Oh. Oh, and the scene with Kersantin when he tries to, when when uh, Madame Garza tries to to, to calm him down, <laughs> and he just rips the arm off anyways. <laughs> like he's a Wookiee, he doesn't you know, like all these all this talk about you know glory and, and days of the old past and and you know how he's a champion. I mean, come on, if he gets the opportunity to rip the arms off Trandoshans, he's gonna rip the arms off Trandoshans. I mean, if you know the you know this the 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 story of Black Crescent, then you can understand why he would do it. I mean, Wookies in general just don't like, uh, just don't like Trandoshans. So there's that. But yeah, like there, I think this episode has this. There, there's something really visceral, visceral about this particular episode that really hits. You know, like it really makes you go, yes, this is. The gritty, grimy, uh, violent place that is Tatooine. Like this is Tatooine, and this is Boba Fett, and this is the world that they live in. And it is exactly, exactly, exactly. Honestly, for me, this is a perfect episode. Like it has everything. Boba Fett is like he's stoic. He's also like there's a really cold menace to him. Like. Like he he doesn't show a lot of expression, and that just adds in to how he's able to really intimidate people. And I think that's the part where we're sort of missing for the last few episodes. And now as he sort of gets serious and gets into the role, it's like oh that's where the coldness, the 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 kill, you know the cold blooded killer. That's where it sort of starts to come out, and I'm all for it. But yeah, so amazing episode. I have zero complaints. I am so excited for the next episode. I have no doubt it's going to be action packed and it's going to be. It's gonna be some sick ass Boba Fett action. And honestly, that's all we need some sick ass Boba Fett action. Just him kicking ass, taking names, and amazing. Amazing, amazing, amazing. So that's all for uh, my reaction to this episode. I loved it so much. Uh, I'll see you guys in the next video. Uh, peace!